Welcome back, guys. Uh, I was asked to do a video on the ICE SSB application. <clears throat> now, that is a uh, site specific browser application um, that you can use if you want to stream from Hulu, Netflix, things like that. So I'm going to go through the process with you and uh, we'll take it one step at a time. Now the first thing you want to do is to d uh, download the ICE SSB application. I'm in Zubuntu, the new 16.10 version. And if you go to your browser, I'm going to give you a website to go to. Uh, let's see. Uh, Okay, so this is a uh, an application. It is open source, and it was uh, first initiated by Peppermint OS. And I'm going to show you where to download it. It is available on Launchpad. So if you go to, I will post this link in the um, web page in the in the video. And this is the latest version, 5.21. It's right here. So if you click on that, it will give you the opportunity to save the file. And then you can just install it with your GDebbie, um, which I already have done. But I will post a link in the video notes, in the show notes, so you can download this package. Now, once you do that, and you install it, it will show up in your internet listing. You see ICE? Okay, so once you open ICE, it's going to give you the uh, opportunity to use whatever uh, browsers you have installed, but it will use Chrome, Chromium, or Firefox. Firefox, even the latest version, uh, I haven't been successful with Netflix. Uh, only Hulu. Chromium needs uh, some additional files, specifically uh, Pepper Flash and uh, and Widevine, which um, they're not always easy to find and not always easy to install. So if you're using an Ubuntu-based uh, Linux install, I would recommend that you use Chrome. Now, I just went and installed the latest Chrome uh, package. Uh, so basically, you just go to the Chrome website and you, let me bring that up, and go ahead and download, do a search on Google Chrome. You'll see Google Chrome web browser. Just open that up and then it'll identify your system and give you the opportunity to download the newest version. What I did was uh, I downloaded the latest Debian file. If you click accept and install, you can install it with the software installer in Ubuntu and get your, uh, get your Chrome browser going. Now once you have Chrome, in your SSB application, under the Create tab, you'll highlight Chrome, and you'll give it a name. The first application we're going to install is Netflix. OK, so you're going to name it Netflix, and the web address is going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.netflix.com You can pick which category in the menu you'd like to install to. It, the default is internet, but you can put it in sound and video if you like also. And so I usually go with internet only because that menu item usually doesn't have that much in it. Whereas your sound and video under multimedia, that can get pretty crowded. So I usually go with the default internet. Now, you can select an icon 
which means that you would have to download one from the internet. Let me show you what that process is. If I open my browser, Google Chrome, I'm just going to modify the window size a little bit. So if I just do a search and I'm just gonna get to my get to a Google search page <clears throat> if I do a search on Netflix icon uh, make sure you go for and we're gonna just click continue continue Okay, so Netflix icon, uh, and you want one with a transparent background. Okay, so then once you search, click on that images for Netflix icon. Now you can pick any, any icon you want for your Netflix program. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick, uh, let's see, I'll pick you want about 400 by 300 would be fine uh, 204 by 220 would be fine I'm gonna pick this one here and that this you can see this little checkerboard that means the background is transparent I'm gonna click view image and then once that comes up right click save image as Netflix icon I usually save in my pictures file Okay, so now that I have saved that icon, you can do the same thing with Hulu, Amazon Prime. I what I what I did is I have a on my uh, flash drive. I have a whole folder of ice icons. So I've got Amazon, I've got Dropbox, OneDrive, Netflix, Google Plus, Facebook. I've got pretty much YouTube. I've got everything that I need. Um, and you can do that also. You can uh, download all of the icons for any of the ICE SSB applications you might want to install and just keep them in a folder called ICE icons. Okay, so now, now that I have the icon that I want, I'm going to click Select an Icon. Now, it's in my pictures folder and there's the Netflix icon so I'm gonna click open and you can see that it's showing up small um, hopefully it it gets adjusted now or you can just use for the for the um, sites that are very common you can use the favicon by just clicking that link it'll bring in the standard Netflix icon but I'm gonna go ahead and use the one that I downloaded just to make sure that it actually works properly and I'm gonna click once you have your icon Chrome selected your cat your your menu category and your name and web web location then you can click apply now once it resets you'll know that it was saved and if you want to check to see if it was saved just click on the remove tab and you can see it's listed there okay so I'm gonna that's the process and you would do the same thing for Hulu uh, for uh, Google Drive for any of the other websites that you'd like to create an icon for so let's do one more just just to make I just want to make sure that you have the process down pat so let's do Hulu web address is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.hulu.com internet is my category I'm gonna use the favicon there it is it pulled it in I got Chrome selected and I'm going to click apply. 
Now, if I click on remove, you can see I have two. All right, so now that's it. I'm going to close that out. Let's go to my menu item, Internet, and you can see Hulu and Netflix are there. If I right click Add to Desktop, it will create an icon. Hulu. Well, before I do that, let me add Hulu to the desktop. Now you can see this icon came out a little small. I'm not sure if I can resize that. I don't think I can. And so I am going to, I'm going to show you how to, we're going to move that to trash. I'm going to bring up ice. I'll show you how to delete one. Click on remove. I'm going to click on Netflix, remove. Now I'm going to go back and create another one. Enter the web address, http colon forward slash. And that's two forward slashes, www.netflix.com. Internet. I'm going to use the favicon. Click Chrome and click Apply. Should be two there. There are. I'm going to go back to my menu, Internet, right click on Netflix, add to desktop. So now I have both. Let's go with Netflix. When it opens, just resize the window to whatever window size you would like. And then just go ahead and sign into your Netflix account and you'll be all set. So I'm going to, I'm going to close this one out. We're going to open Hulu. Again, you'll have to resize the window to whatever it is that you'd like. And then log into Hulu. Now, I'm going to pause the video so I can verify that these links actually work and I can get signed in. So I'm going to pause the video. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I signed into my Hulu and my Netflix account. And let's just open that up. And you'll see that once I open it and I click play, it works fine. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay. Yeah. There's Netflix. And here is Hulu. And if I click on that and click play, you'll see that everything works fine. So you would use that same process. So if you wanted to, let's say, I'm going to do one more with you just so you can see one that's not related to streaming. Uh, Internet, ice, let's click on Chrome, and let's do YouTube. HTTP forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com. Got to spell that right. Okay, is there a favicon for that? No. Okay, so I'm going to have to select an icon. And let's select one off my disk and we will go with the uh, YouTube icon right here so that's all set up and let's click apply you can see I have three there now I'm going to go to my internet right click on YouTube add to the desktop and as you can see YouTube 
will come up in a site specific browser window you'll have to resize the window to your preference and of course sign into your account um, but it works fine if I click on a video there are As 2 billion see, people who don't have access to basic full bank screen. but that is changing. At no Temenos with the Microsoft Cloud, we can enable a banker. So guys, that is it for ICE SSB. I hope uh, I answered your questions and illustrated it properly. Um, thanks for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.